Alright then gang, so we've seen how to create functions now in Go. I also want to show you how to create functions that return multiple values. So not just one value like we saw in the last video, but say we want to return two different values. So this is going to be a slightly more complex function that we're going to create, but it's going to put together some of the things we've learned so far, as well as use the strings package right here. So I've imported that. So we have this function called get initials, and this is going to take in a string value, which is a name, which is why I've called it n right here. And it's going to basically get the initials of that full name. All right. So if we want to return two values, we can do. All we need is an extra set of parentheses right here, and then we can comma separate the types of values we're returning. So if I want to return two strings, I can say the first one is going to be a string and the second value I return is also a string. So this will return two strings. Pretty simple, right? Okay then, so first of all, let me call this function from down here. So I'm going to say something like get initials and then pass in a name. So for example, Tifa Lockhart. I think that's how you spell it. All right then. So now it's going to pass in this string into here. And what I want to do is get this letter and this letter and return both of those separately as these two return types. I also want to capitalize them. So let's go through this process. The first thing I'm going to do is capitalize the whole string that we take in. So we don't have to capitalize everything individually later on. Now to do that, I'm going to use the strings package we imported right here. And I'll say S is going to be equal to strings and then to upper, which is a function from the strings package. And we just pass in n, which is the string. So that returns a new string to us, which is now all uppercase, which we can store inside s. All right, then. So we have this string right here now in uppercase. The next thing we want to do is split the string into an array. And the array is going to contain each of these elements. So Tifa would be the first string in the array and Lockhart would be the second string in the array. Now, actually, we'll use a slice just in case they only pass in one or it could be they pass in three names. So we'll do a slice to store these individual names, the first and the second in this case. So I'm going to say names is going to be equal to strings and then a function called split. And this is going to split up a string right here and we're going to split it wherever there is a space. So after each name, we split it. And that's going to now return to us a slice with these two elements inside it, this and this. All right, so we have that names slice. Now what I'd like to do is create another slice for the initials. So I'm going to say var initials, first of all, and initialize this type right here. So it's a slice of type string. Now what I want to do is cycle through the names right here using a for loop. So I'm going to say for, I don't need the index, but I do want the value and that's colon equal to the range. And we're going to cycle through the names. And what we'll do is for each name, we want to take that name, get the first letter of it and put it inside the initials slice. So to do that, I'm going to say initials is equal to append. And then we're going to append the initials, which is empty to begin with, remember. And then we're going to append it with the value, which is going to be either the first or second name. But we only want the first letter of that name. And to do that, we're going to use a range. So colon. And then we say go to position one. So that means, remember, go from position zero all the way up to position one, but not including position one. So it just gets us the first letter. So this is basically a range, but this time using it on a string. So we can use those ranges on strings as well. And that gets us the first letter of each string. And we're appending that letter to the initials slice right here. OK, so once we've done this for loop, we now have a slice of initials. And what I want to do is return those initials. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is check the length of the slice right here, initials, because it might be that we only pass in one name like that. And if that's the case, we only have one item inside the initial slice. And if that is the case, I don't want to try to return two initials, if you like. So I want to check what is the length of the initial slice. So I'm going to say if 
and then len and then pass in the initials if that is over one meaning we should have two names or two initials we want to return both of those initials so initials at position zero which is the first one but also initials at position one so this is how we return those multiple values and remember we did that here we say string and string and this is a string and this is a string all right so that's how we return them cool now if the length is not greater than one i'm going to do a different return so i'll say return initials get the first one but then we'll just pass through as the second argument that underscore okay so if they don't have a second name then they just get an underscore back as the second string okay then so let's try this out i'm gonna come down here and remember it returns values so we can grab those values from this and store them in variables now since we're returning two values we can't just say something like you know i for initials is colon equal to this because and we're getting an error this returns two values and we can't store two values inside one variable so instead we need two variables on the left as well and the way we do that is by saying something like this so i'll say first name and then second name something like that and this will now work we still get errors because we're not doing anything with these but we're not getting an error over here anymore so let me call this first name one and second name one because i'm going to duplicate this a couple of times but first let me print these out so fmt dot print line and we'll output first name one and second name one all right then so we are getting an error at the minute for this but that's because it's not imported if i save this it should auto import it and that error will eventually go away there we go let's do the same thing but for other values so second over here i'll get rid of those i'm going to say cloud strife and we'll call this first name two and second name two and output those right here let's do one more and this time i'm only going to pass in one name just to show you this right here so this is going to be three and three three and three all right so let's give this a whirl open this up run the file and hopefully it will see all of the initials cool so we see tl for t for lockhart cs for cloud strife and b underscore for barrett so that's all working and these are all in capital letters which is what i wanted so there we go my friends hopefully you see now how we can return multiple values like this and also it was a bit of extra practice using other go code as well